So you've probably had those thoughts that just keep playing on repeat over and over and over again. Well, you're not alone. And there's a scientific reason for this mental merry-go-round. We talked about this orbital frontal cortex. In folks with OCD, this part is like an overdrive. It's like a car alarm that won't stop blaring. Even when there's nothing to worry about, your brain screaming, danger, danger, actually when everything's fine. Scientists have peered into these overactive circuits and what they found is fascinating. With more activity in the brain, it tends to stay on high alert. But that doesn't mean you're broken. It means your brain's just a little confused and we're gonna change that. Treatment is all about learning a new language. It takes time, takes practice, but you can get your brain back on track. Have you heard of the basal ganglia? Not basal that you're eating, but basal ganglia. It's in the brain. It's actually, it's, it, it, it's right here, oh, somewhere up there. This part is supposed to be like a bouncer at a club, deciding whether someone stays, whether they go, they analyze what's important, what's not. But with OCD, this bouncer isn't doing his job very well. It is not filtering out these pesky intrusive thoughts. The basal ganglia works with two other brain parts, the thalamus and the prefrontal cortex. Together, they're like a security team that's supposed to help you stay in control of your behavior. But with an OCD, this team is dropping the ball. They're not helping you shut off these urges and these repetitive behaviors. I don't do this brain talk very often, but really what it means for you is that your brain has gotten into some bad habits. Just like a kid learning to get a tantrum and they get everything they want because they throw a tantrum. Their brain's like, you know what? Throw a tantrum next time because you're getting what you want. Keep doing it, keep doing it. That is what the brain is learning. I use the treatment exposure and response prevention, ERP. It's like having a key to free your mind. And it might be simpler than you think. It's all about facing those fears, but your brain is working out. It's training your mind to react differently to these thoughts, not get rid of them. Here's how it works. You face things that freak you out. You don't do the rituals. You're telling your brain, I know you're scared, but we're not doing this this time. We're keeping a lot of uncertainty with this. You know what? Maybe, maybe not to any fear, contamination, harm, relationship, kids, all, whatever's on your brain. Maybe, maybe not. Let's look at some examples. If you have contamination, you touch that doorknob, maybe you don't wash your hands right away. For real event OCD, thinking about the event and trying not to make sense of it. Responding completely different to the story that's replaying in your mind. With relationship OCD, I may or may not be with the right person. Probably picked the wrong one. I don't know. It's tough at first, but your brain is screaming at you to do the compulsions. But here's the cool part. Your brain starts to learn, hey, Maybe this isn't so bad after all.